Hi everyone. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Business Wednesday. Before you guys come in the room, we just want to say thank you to all of our new followers and all of our existing followers. Please don't forget to continue to like, share, and comment and send to all your friends. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Hey y'all, hey. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hygiene Network, and make sure that you're following us on all of our platforms. And we're not just dressed like that by accident, you know. It is business Wednesday, so you know what time it is. Um, we received uh, many questions regarding the business. Two of them we are going to cover today. حنغطي اثنين من الأسئلة جاتنا أو سؤالين واحد فيهم كيف تعدل الكريدت بتاعك. How you can improve your credit. Hi Yara. How you can improve your credit. The second part they wanted us to talk about steps. So basically taking back a little bit, taking taking it back a notch. Um, so if you have questions that you want us to answer in Business Wednesday, drop them in the comments, right? Ask them directly live to us and we will answer you as we go. So let's start with starting the business. Yes. So we talked about this before in one of our daily motivation videos. So we already know that we had to have a plan, a name. And then we need to figure out what state we're going to register our business in. Business credit is very tricky and it can either go extremely left or you could be right on track on the right. Okay? So it's like a fine line in between the two. Yep. And um, until Maya get her information out, what she want to share with you, um, we both have businesses. Um, we both have the information. We went through the stages, the steps, the struggles, all in between. So what you need to do, like um, the question that we got is, what are the first steps? And I believe the person is in Chicago. I, I believe that. Um, but what I want to say, regardless of what state you're in, if you are in the United States, لو أنت موجود هنا في أمريكا, بغض النظر, regardless of what state you're in, there are few steps that you need to um, do before you establish your business. And somebody said, what about Canada and the UK? Um, I don't know the rules, the regulation in, Can in the UK. And I'm sure it's a lot different, or maybe a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But in uh, in Canada, it is closer close to the U.S. So because of the proximity between the U.S. and Canada, most of the business is there. You just have to find your state, your specific state, mm -hmm. uh, your specific county sometimes. And if you want to do it as in all 50 states, or you want to do it in just one state. Mm -hmm. Choosing the right entity, uh, I believe it's Idris, choosing the right entity is very important. Mm -hmm. um, yes, Yara is in Canada and she said we have similar system and laws. Perfect. So the one asked about Canada, Canada has almost similar systems and laws and regulation to businesses just like the United States. Right. Um, <clears throat> so choosing the entity is very important. You are not going to succeed as something that you don't know about mm -hmm. and there is no need for it. Right. Uh, you might succeed, but it's going to be with a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, your best bet is to, su to succeeding is in something that you enjoy doing right. and that you want to put time and effort. So find out if you search, there are a ton of information out there. So be careful. Yes. Be, Take it from the right resources. Go yeah, ahead, I was Maya. just about to say the same thing. Go follow up through your Secretary of State. Register your business. There's a lot of different organizations that will help you start your LLC or your nonprofit or your um, um, sole proprietorship uh, business. There's so many different different websites and businesses that say that they can help you do it. So you have to be really careful on who you're selecting to start your business and how you're starting it. 
And yeah. you don't have to start your business in the state that you live in. Yeah. On the Secretary of State website, each state has a different price of how much you would pay for an LLC or different things like that. So if you live here in Pennsylvania, but it's cheaper for you to start your business in Texas, go for it. If that, that part really doesn't, you know, one doesn't thing matter. I, one thing I want to say about that, Be, to me, personally, you are not going to succeed 100% on a business that you don't oversee yourself. So me, personally, Hajir, Mm -hmm. I will never do a business in a place that I'm not physically in. Well, that's just for the registration of the business yes. name itself. Just because you register in Texas doesn't mean that your business has to be it, there. Yes, it does. It means you have, you have to provide the service in Texas. If you do it in another state, you have to register in that state under foreign entity. Like, for example, my company... The home base is Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So we're registered in all Pennsylvania, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot practice in Virginia, Maryland, or New York without an office. Right. And that's why I registered in Virginia, in mm -hmm. Maryland, in New York. But when I register, it's under my same company. Right. But it will be considered foreign domestic or foreign entity. Right. I think it just depends on what kind of business you have. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you do but like, we'll make sure uh, we give the if you do like a makeup or you do something, you can have it registered, but you have to have an office at the state, at the state. Like for example, in Maryland, you have to have a registered office. Mm -hmm. Their agency, fee agencies, mungkin tasajilu maahum, or if you know someone, you can use their address. One thing that you cannot establish a business with no, some, some states will allow you to use a P.O. box, mm -hmm. not so many yeah, of them. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. So you have to know someone, trust mm -hmm. someone, because those information are your information. You can also have a registered office mm -hmm. in a different state, yes. but a mailing address at your state. Yes. So for me, That's I have so my important. registered office mm -hmm. in like my second offices in New York or uh, the one in Maryland, mm -hmm. I have an address, like a physical address, mm -hmm. and all my mailing comes to me personally. Right. And that's so called mail continue. forwarding. Continue. Let me just close the door. That's called mail forwarding. Um, and there's different uh, programs like iPostal, like if you don't have anybody who has an address. Most of the time when you go into looking for business credit, they want to see a legit address. They don't want to see your like a home address on there. So I'd recommend uh, researching virtual addresses that you can use to use as your business address. I'm calling, so we're ending that. Whoever calling, just wait. Um, so the having a registered office at the different state or having your office here, and for example, you want to start where you at personally, you guys tell us, if anyone started a business, what are your preferences? For me, I am a micromanager. I have to see it, smell it, taste it, touch it. <laughs> so my business is like my baby. You have Your business is one of your children, truly, because it's going to take up as much time as raising a kid. Mm -hmm. You give birth to this company. What are you going to do about it? Right. Uh, and, and for the parent who don't do nothing with their kids, mm, that's not going to work with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it is your baby. And to me, it's my baby. So I want to be there, see it. One thing. The second part is you have to really trust mm -hmm. who you are putting in charge. Yes. So if you have an office in a different state, who is watching it? Mm -hmm. Who's making sure things are going correctly? Right. And especially when we talk about healthcare, mm -hmm. uh, there is Medicare fraud. So many cases of people that started a company and they either did one thing wrong and they got in trouble mm -hmm. or they did everything wrong. Right. I know we know cases, and especially the Sudanese people who are listening to me right now, so many cases of people that were charged for Medicare fraud, they were doing the transportation, and they were just putting, not doing anything right, right? right? Mm -hmm. Or they had drivers who were 
writing the, the mileages for a trip that they didn't take. Right. So be careful mm -hmm. when you have or you want to expand. You have to be there. You have to watch it every day. So that's, that's the one of the things. Um, you did your entity. You chose your state. You did all the legal paperwork. You, in Pennsylvania here, if you go to um, uh, the, the department, I'll give you the link in the bottom here, uh, you can file, you can choose actually, they did make a huge change in their website, but when you click, you can choose the initial form. So when you choose that initial form, it gives you the option right. to either do LLC, mm -hmm. uh, incorporated, mm -hmm. like if you want have partners, if you want to do it a non-profit, if you want to, there's so many different right. forms. Um, you got to choose what's going to work for you and do your research. Right. And We've got some comments on Instagram. Uh-huh. Um, and I, under, H underscore A-H. But they said you have to have an official website, an official email, not a Hotmail or a Gmail. Absolute credit. They're going to look at everything. The address on the business. Is there a website? Can they find you on Google? Um, yep. All those things go into factors. So before you jump out of the skillet into the fire, mm -hmm. make sure that you have a full list and a full plan of And you don't option. have to do it all at once. No. Because people delay their dreams yep. because they think everything has to be perfect. Right. right. It's a trial and yeah. error. Yeah. You don't want an error that is going to cost you all your money. Right. But at the same time, you don't want to delay it to the point that you're going to wake up one day and it's five years later. Exactly. Like, you know, I, I, she, and it's she, not, she's talking about me, y'all. I don't know why she won't just say Maya. Okay, but. Maya. This is for Maya. But, um, so, if you have a website, like, for example, uh, we use a Gmail email, but we use an official. Mm -hmm. Like, my company, HSE Staffing Agency, that's the website, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you type it, it will take you to my website. Mm -hmm. And if you want to email us, it's H, we have separate, like HR at HSE Staffing Agency. Right. That's just HR. You have mm -hmm. your info. You have all of that. But it's legit. Mm -hmm. When you have your email linked to your business website, right. your client are going to look at you differently. Right. They're gonna, it's going to feel more safe. I'm not going to send my information to um, um, uh, get your phone. That's mine. Yep. You didn't do... Um, I put it on Do Not yeah. I put both of them on So, the with, with uh, um, business, I, I lost my train of thought now. Uh, it's... You want your website. And yeah. you want your email. Because sometimes you get spams. People right. send you and say, we want a contract with you. Mm -hmm. Send us your information. And you're like, oh, hey contract mm -hmm. emailing all your document all your paperwork and it's like a, a brins from you know where right but yeah so getting the website thank you for that getting your email um getting a structure and it's not nothing wrong with asking for help um check with your people around you sometimes you don't have to pay a lot of money right. if you know someone right um and Knowing someone is a problem because I asked, I tried to help few people and I give them a job, a task. Mm -hmm. They took my money. They didn't do it. Don't do that mistake. So you have to have everything in writing, mm -hmm. your expectations. If you give someone a task to work for your company, for example, I want you to design my website. Okay. I need you to do this, that. I'm going to give you a deposit and you're going to finish the first stage right. May 1st. Second stage got to be December. Yes. Everything has to be in writing. Yes. In nursing, mm -hmm. and thank you for that thumb up. In nursing, we learned if it's not documented, it's not done. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not documented, documented, musajjala, Muwathaka. Muwathaka. Written. All of that. If it's not written, it's not done. So make sure that every task that you do through your process 
it is documented. Yeah. Um, keep track. Have a file, a folder. I will advise all of you. Don't be like Hajir. <laughs> when I first started, I did not have a, a hard drive. So my computer died, on, like not died, like literally gave up on me. Whoop, one day, woke up and he was dead. And I say he because I call him John. I'm <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So my computer died on me. Took it to my geek squad. Everything. They're like, oh, we just have to um, fat, um, manufacture, mm -hmm. reset it. Like mm -hmm. factory reset it. Mm -hmm. And they looking at me like, oh, you'll be fine. I'm sure you have it backed up. And I'm like, oh, have what packed up? I'm screaming. Have what packed up? <laughs> so I end up. Choosing either to lose, I'm, I mean, I'm going to lose it either ways because the computer is nowhere to be found. Right. So they ma factory reset my computer. I lost most of the things. So I had to do a lot of work to get it all back. You don't want to do that. Make sure you have it back up. Now I have a hard drive and a backup to the hard drive and a hard drive to back up the hard drive and a backup to the hard drive. I'm screaming. You see? So nothing wrong with having all of those set in place right. uh, because this is your hard work. Yeah. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. You yeah. don't want to do something to come one day and find out that you missed, you lost it. Right. Uh, it and, and with business, you have to keep meticulous record yeah, you with your employees, with everything. You have to be very organized. In order yeah. for your business to be successful, you have to be organized. So you have to make sure that all of your documents are where you can have access to them. One of the good practices that I do is I email it to myself. I've done that too. Multiple email addresses. Now. So that, and then you have folders. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to interrupt you here. With the email, there is capacity. At some point, your email is going to scream at you. Uh -huh. You have to buy more mm -hmm. storage. Sorry, continue. Well, yeah, you could buy, depending on how many, clean out your email, y'all. Don't be like me with 56,000, okay? <laughs> clean out your email. But if you are, if, if that's a way for you to stay organized, create a folder in your email that's strictly just for business. So if all else fails, you can say, oh, I remember this conversation. Let me check it through my email. Your email lets you go back, I think, two years so that you can see, you know, an email that was sent out or, or that you received. But organization is key. Um, it's going to be very hard for you to build business credit or for your business to take off and go the way that you want it to go if you're not organized. And that that's why we said in the beginning, having a plan is extremely important. Write it all down before you take that leap and go register your business. Yep. Um, in, in Pennsylvania, there is something that called One Stop Shop now. So if you go to PA, I think it's the gov. PA.gov, yeah, mm -hmm. PA.gov. One thing I want to say, there are so many websites out there that will say PA.org, PA.com. Nope, you got to make sure you go to the right one. Mm -hmm. In Pennsylvania, PA.gov. Mm -hmm. In Virginia, also, they have a one-stop shop mm -hmm. where you register, mm -hmm. you have your login, uh, all your information that you, you will need, and they keep record of your filing yeah so if you need it don't lose it because every time you lose it and you apply again you're gonna have to pay a small fee i've done that like and six they times add they add up mm -hmm. <laughs> they add up mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> you go there you once you choose what you're doing you do the the format you register now what now finding your client reaching out well you first, have to be everywhere yes she's right before you do that, after you've got your name, there's going to be five steps that you need to do okay. for you to achieve your business credit, okay? Mm -hmm. The first step is you have to open up a bank account. This has to be a business bank account, okay? So you're going to go to your local bank, preferably credit union, whichever you prefer, and open up a banking savings account and a checking account. Business separate from your personal, okay? Yep. This is only for your business, okay? So hold, before you move on... Mm -hmm. Having an entity, there is something called sole proprietorship, right? Yes. So that's you using your name as your business. Don't do that. Please don't. I'm going to tell you right now. ما تعملوا تسجيل للبزنس بتاعكم أو أي أي عمل حر في نفس اسمكم لأنه كده غانونيا 
انتوا هتتضرروا لو حصلت حاجه للبزنس والبزنس هيتضرر لو حصلت لكم حاجه so what i just said in arabic if you choose to use your name as a sole proprietorship don't do that my advice don't do it because yeah, now right. you're linking yourself into the business right if you file bankruptcy the business is gone right if the business struggle and file bankruptcy you're gone you are tying your future with the business right. that's why having a separate mm -hmm. format such as an llc incorporation uh, any kind of um separate entity is mm -hmm. the best way and with that in mind you gotta do your bank yes. separate than the personal yes because you do not want the irs to come and knock on your door and say where that money at Mm -hmm. Where that money at? Because they always watching. Mm -hmm. They are always watching. Okay. So yes, open up your bank account. Number two, obtain an EIN number, which is an employee identification number. Applying for your EIN. This is after you've got your certificate yeah. of business. So you your your LLC is registered in in your state. You already got your form. Now you're gonna file for your EIN. Your EIN is free. Okay. This is say like that your, again. Your EIN is free. When you go to the IRS website, the real IRS, there is irs.com, I think, and .org. Mm -hmm. Those are fake. And once you finish your application, put your social security, all your info, they're going to say, pay us. Exactly. It's the, the filing fees, 150. And then you, you're really desperate. You're like, I need my business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend the money. And you pay that 150. And you're not getting no EIN. And you're not getting that 150 back. Exactly. So, um, so apply for your EIN number. This is your business social security number. This is what you're going to use when you file for anything else, anything, a car, a house, or whatever. How to do business? Do you, you? You need an EIN number. Number three, um, establish trade lines with suppliers. This means build credit relationships with suppliers who report to business credit bureaus, Duns and Bat Bradstreet. All of our all of our new business owners out there, right? Make sure you have your Duns number. This is important. Yeah. Your Duns number. They work with businesses like uh, Staples and different things like that, where you can purchase office supplies and then you can pay it back. This is an excellent way for you to build your business credit. Number four, DNB.com. Yes, DNB.com. Thank you, friend. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is apply for a business credit card. So you've got to have your EIN number in order to apply for a business credit card. Same services you get with your social security number, your business is uh, its own person. Mm -hmm. Their EIN is their social security number. And you need to guard that the same way you guard your social security. Facts. Because someone could take your EIN number, your name, your address, and open up account, do credit cards, and you will see somebody is taking a business trip to Italy, and Literally. you're sitting here trying to pay. Oh, is that what you? Literally, said? she did not even know what was on my iPad. That's how good I am. That's I'm tooting my horn. Toot toot. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't see honestly. So go ahead, say it. Yeah. So the last one was monitor and dispute inaccuracies. Make sure you are checking it like it is the last piece of bread in the refrigerator and you are hungry, okay? <laughs> Make sure you are checking because again, this is going to this is your start of your success. Um when you get your um business credit card, Hajir and I have told talked about this multiple times. Don't go out spending all willy-nilly, okay? You remember that you have to pay this back. Saving tip. <laughs> if you know credit cards are not free no nothing in this world is free zero freedom is not free exactly so you have to keep that in mind with everything you do freedom costs money and energy credit card money but not free money you have to pay it back and they want so, you to they keep telling you oh we just increased your balance that's a trap <laughs> yeah increase it i'll <laughs> Listen, increase it, and <laughs> no, I'm not using it. Exactly. Uh, no, use it, but use your credit wise. Use it wise. Are you done with this? And yes. Jumping to the credit? Well, that, that was all of, that was our five. Those are the five today. for the business, yes. and that's what we're going to use today. But we still have to answer the question on how you can improve your credit. 
since we're talking about your business credit now, I am going to talk to, what's her name? Azia. Azia. Aziza. Aziza. Aziza was asking about, um, she said her credit is bad. I said this before, Aziza. I don't know if you heard it or not. When I was going through my domestic violence and I lost the house, I, it was a huge mess. It's for another time. Uh, I mean, most of you probably heard it already, but my credit went down to 350. Mm -hmm. Everybody around me, they're like, we didn't know that any credit can go that low. Nobody expects like, to hear the 350. Yeah. So I had to go to the bank. Um, I had to take on, like in order for me to do anything, mm -hmm. everything has to be cash. So I end up working hard, but then I'm like, this has got to end, has yeah. to stop. So what I did is, and, and that's for you, Aziza, how you can bring your credit up if you have a bad credit. First of all, try not to have a bad credit. It's easier said. It's easy said than life, done. We understand that life happens. Life happens, yeah. you know, but if you're young and listening to us, stop spending money that you don't have. Yeah. If you are old and you just came here and you don't know the rules, do not spend money that you don't physically have. Yeah. Even if you have a credit card that is giving you unlimited, you have that platinum American Express with unlimited. Oh my God. Um, there is a limit. Right. You know why? Because the bill comes every the month. The bill comes every month. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have enough amount in your bank account to cover your bills, mm -hmm. don't do it. Yeah. Live within your mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you can improve that credit by, first of all, um, go to your bank. Before you go to your bank, take like $500 with you or a thousand, whatever you can afford from your money. Mm -hmm. Go to the bank, give it to them, put it in your account, right? And say, I want to open a secure credit card. Yeah. So secure credit cards are basically your money. Right. The bank doesn't trust you. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're not going to have a credit card because they're going to tell you, you're not good with money, right. so we're not going to trust you. Right. What you going to do is you're going to give them your money. Say, this is Arbun Thiqa. This is my offering, <laughs> my way of telling you I am good. Trust right. me. Right. So you give them that $500, $1,000, whatever you can afford, and give it to them. They will open something they call a secure credit card. Right. What is secure credit card, you might ask? Secure credit card is just like the credit card. Minus the money come from your pocket, right. not from a lender. Right. So you're going to use that credit. Once they give it to you, mm -hmm. um, you're going to use that uh, secure credit card to buy things that you need. Put a line under yeah. need. Hajat inta muhtaj leha or muhtaj leha. Takubil benzin. What I used it for was gas. Yeah. So I was using it um, for gas. Yes, ya yara. I was using it for gas because if I don't have gas, I'm not going to go nowhere. Right. My hair is like bothering me. So sorry. I'm just like playing with it. But um, if you don't have gas, you're not going to go nowhere. Yeah. So I use my credit card to buy gas to pay for some groceries that I need, mm -hmm. like milk, you know, stuff that you truly need. Mm -hmm. And then you repay it before the month is up right don't wait because once you hit that 30 days you're gonna pay that interest yeah and that interest guys is disrespectful Count so what i do i pay it within a week yeah i don't play my credit cards within a week if i don't have that money i'm not buying whatever it is yeah done so buy the things that you truly need 20 dollar here 40 dollar whatever but before the month a week or two weeks after you bought it, pay it back. Mm. Keep on, and, and that's required time. It's not gonna happen in a day. Like you're gonna yeah, get the credit not. card today mm -hmm. and you want your credit to be 750, 800 tomorrow. It's nope, not. six months at least. Yeah. Look at me, not counting again. Six months, <laughs> six months. At least you're gonna have to do this for six months. 
And then you might gonna say, and what else? Yes, there is other things that you can do. Well, having the secure credit card, I take that high interest car loan. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not fun. I had to do a twelve percent, which is a number that like, boom. But I had a plan. Yeah. So I bought like a smaller car that I can afford paying back quickly. Mm -hmm. And I also start picking up those over time and I paid it right and I when paid you, it down to like almost almost all of it and when you get these secure cards the good thing about it is that they will increase your balance so if they see you have good history and you are using it and you are paying it back before time not increasing time, they will increase it. not increase it they do better than that once you start being good they give you your money back and they give you a credit card for that amount. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I know. Maya's well, learning. First of all, cap Capital One. I told you. Come here. Oh, oh my gosh. She broke my computer. I am hype. Capital One, you look at me right now. Mm -hmm. I want my money back. Just kidding. <laughs> no, seriously. I didn't know that. I yes, didn't know that. Yes. I recently. So, I, Maya's learning today. Yes, I recently. You know, I'm trying to, you know, get back on, like we say, life happens. So I'm trying to get myself back to where I was before. And, it, and it's easier said than done. Um, um, it is. It's no, hard. No, it's not easy. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. not. It's easier said than, than done. done. Yep. I so it's like not I'm impossible. Like, it's not impossible. You can do it. It's all about discipline. Yep. Discipline is key, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So the credit, let's repeat that again to Maya. And the people in the back. Y'all listen. <laughs> Do you hear me? Do you all listen? So if you get once you get your secure credit card, after six months or a year, it depends on your bank and institution. It depends on the bank you're using, right? Mm -hmm. So that what they will do, that five hundred dollar is gonna go back in your business, like your account, your checking account. And they will send you that congratulation letter. Congratulations. You know, you're, you show that you are responsible enough mm -hmm. for, to, for us to give you a credit. And I know they're going to give you a little bit. Um, is it one? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Continue, Maya. Um, so basically what she was saying that once you, once they see that you have good history, they will give you your money back that you put into that secure card. Plus, increase your balance. So, if you want to build business credit, your first step to building that business credit is making sure that you have discipline, you're educated on the right way. Because I think a lot of times we get ourselves in, in credit oh situations because we don't know how credit works. And yeah. that that's a big thing, not knowing how credit works. So, do your research. Join the Hygiene Network uh, every Wednesday for Business Wednesday. Because we will tell you and show you how to. Um, okay. So you just want to have to yeah. um, so, end it. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please tune in to France 24. Hygier is going to be live at 110 for an interview. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we are going to. Sorry, guys. It's like. I, I'm gonna go. <laughs> yes, we're gonna continue to talk about this about this topic and building your business credit. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.